to God. Keep it honest. Money time created a wave on my own. Why you follow like a slave or a clone on my grown man? You might not be in my plan. Shawty want some Kush and some Zans. Call that fan of a fan. Young Steez, I ain't need need you. You couldn't even reach him. Take it to the top. Now. All right, man. Who we got on Features TV right now, man? Let the people know what's up. What's going on? It's D.E. to the Z. Straight out of North Carolina, Diamond C. Coming from the bull. Yeah, coming from the bull. You know, okay. I've been seeing a lot of the, the bull city um, artists on my page. You know what I'm saying? My timeline. Yeah. You know, it seems like y'all got a whole bunch of rappers out there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, how was the, the the music scene in Durham? Well, I'm, I ain't even gonna stunt. I'm kind of proud of Durham right now, cause like, really Durham don't. It's not really a together type. It's small, so. Crabbing the bucket a little bit with it, but it's doing pretty well. I'm proud of Darren. It's stepping it up. I've been out here at Raleigh doing my thing because I always love the, the, the way Raleigh is popping and a lot of stuff. A lot of people come out to Raleigh, a lot of fans and stuff like that. So, but Darren's doing pretty well. We're coming up a little slow, but it's getting there. Yeah. Shouts out Swift, all of the big guys, though, that's really doing it, though. Okay. Do you think there's more opportunities in Raleigh compared to Darren? Yes. Was you trying to get on with the music? Yes, I would say it is. I would say it's a lot more opportunities, but you can do it anywhere if you're networking the right way, though. But yeah. Raleigh, I've got a lot of a lot of nice things that have worked. Like I used to rap in Star Life with. Well, we go at 3 a.m. now, but Nick News, um, Euro, a couple of cats, Ty Harris, a lot of people that's out of uh, Raleigh and other counties, though. Just North Carolina, period. But Raleigh always was like. What motivated me though? Mm -hmm. Durham is just stumping ground. I'll be honest about that. Word, word. So, yeah. Okay, man. So you said, you, like, you seem like you've been rapping for a minute. You was talking about Nick News. Ain't Nick News kind of like old? Yeah, yeah, he is. I heard of him. He yeah. Like, he, he, I ain't even going to stunt. He found me far as, like, with, with, with Drake Cannons. Have you heard of him? Yeah. Yeah, Drake yeah, Cannons. Yeah, right I, I got a little video out. That's when I went by DDZ. I okay. kind of funkied up my name when I did a little collab with the um, the Hit Them Folks guy. You ever heard of She Love Michi? No, I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, he be in all future and got all them videos. But I, I did a little collab with him and I switched my name to D to the Z and it, it caught more more wave than just DZ. So I've been rocking with that since then. But um, yeah, news, he, he put me on to like the business part, just knowing that it's you can actually get some money off the music instead of just going to the open mics and all that. From other venues, manager. I gotta give a shout out to him again because he got me my first manager. So now I kind of know what to do on my own, just independent. Mm -hmm. but yeah, the music industry is, is pretty, it's doing pretty well with um, Durham. I see a lot of people doing well in Durham now, so I mean. Kujo Benz, I've been hearing about him, yeah. CFN Trap Guy. Uh-huh. I like I like um Cujo Benz. I like okay. I rock with his music. I rock with a lot of guys' music in Durham. King I Way. I heard of King Way. No, I haven't heard of him. I heard yeah, he got he got a song with Cujo Benz. Oh, for real? Yeah, he got a song with him. Um pretty dope song. What? I seen the DJ Double J street ball um oh, yeah. turn yeah. thing, yeah. Shouts out Double J. He's hype. He been doing it forever. He's, yeah. he's lit. That's the, he's a lit DJ. King. For real. Yeah, I, I put out a couple of visuals. I got like two or three visuals with Drake Cannon. He been putting in work on World Star and stuff like that for a long time. Yeah. So, it's been a lot of, of learning going on through the years. I just been putting out singles. I got this one single called Dollars. It's not even really rap. It's just kind of like melatonin, like just wavy music. Shouts out Carolina on the rise. They posted it as soon as I, I hit them up. Yeah, um, shout out to them. Yeah, um, what's his name? I think his name is Los Cor Corleone. Yeah. Corleone, yeah, shouts out to him, man. He, he showed love instantly. So, I mean, North Carolina, if, if you're making a little wave or, or some kind of noise, it's, it's there. I've been going through a lot of back and forth to Atlanta, though. I just yeah. got back from A3C. That was very fun. There's a whole lot of people doing what I like to do. And, of course, women. It was just a little bit. Yeah, it was. It was popping, man. And that's that's good that you you know going out of town, mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of people you know they they just so worried about being the best you know in in their hometown. Yeah. 
instead of just expanding. Talk to people about how important that is, man, just to get your name out there in other markets, like not just being local. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see anything like I always wanted my stuff to be like suggested in Google official. So the first time I got mine like the way it was like viral and Google official and when you type it like the other artists it pop up. So when I reached out to other places like I, I definitely love where I come from. I want to always bring it back home. But it seemed like when you go out of state and when you go put yourself out there you're giving yourself you know more variety. It's not even about just not showing off for your hometown. You are your hometown, that's your brand, but mm -hmm. you gotta go out here and where the bigger, where more money is, bigger marketing, bigger events, you gotta go out there to see it. You can't just be on social media, you gotta go out there and touch yeah, You can't folks. be on SoundCloud. Nah, it's yeah. people that make it through SoundCloud. Shouts out SoundCloud artists. You mean you, just, making, just making music on SoundCloud, not even going out? Not even events. going out, yeah. It's a lot of people like that. Always, always yeah, put more effort crazy. into your music than, or at least try to put more effort into the marketing than just dropping stuff. Cause yeah. you can waste a thousand songs. And so, yeah, it's, Go out to South by Southwest if you can. Yeah. Go to A3C. Try to get in these festivals. The West just people that want to hear your music. Not a bunch of rappers. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not knocking any rappers mm -hmm. or nothing. But you got to go to where people want to hear you. People just don't want to download. They don't want to don't see you do what you do best. Okay. Now, um, I don't know if you'd be following. I know you follow us, but I don't know if you really be looking at our uh, content we be putting up. But today I put up a um, survey basically of who's better between the baby or who would you rather listen to between the baby and Little Malik. Did you see that today? Shouts out the baby. Yeah, I watch, man, I watch your show all the no, time. No, I'm saying, but niggas, <laughs> niggas got mad, like, got, like, like I said something real bad, like, like, TV, yeah, man, like, yo, let me tell you something, man, the baby is, is, is going hard yeah. for his time right now. I, I like Malik too, because you know, be easy. I've been, they knew about me a long time ago, man. I just never really was putting the money into it. When I first started, I was just doing it to do yeah. it around town. But I ain't gonna stunt. The back, I can't lie. I see a lot of work with the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, the dude went and hit a million like in a week or something on, on the low. And the video was, it's worth watching. It was lit. So yeah, it's yeah. just kind of like, true. I ain't gonna stunt. His work ethic is on. It's there. Four, like, he, dropped, he just dropped like three videos yes, in like three he's, days. He's putting in the work. And that's what y'all artists, even myself, you have to know. Like, It's not all about talent. It is. Talent is dope. But it's about your work that You're going to be getting nicer or whatever over time. Or whatever. If you're taking it serious and, you, and you, you're going about it the right way. I like Lil Malik too though. His music's lit too. I rock right with him. Yeah. But I see more of the baby. I'm just gonna be real. That's cause he, yeah, he's, he's putting out hella shit right now. Yes. That's what, I, I fuck with Lil Malik. I feel like the view's not there for him right now, but I feel like, you know, he he's still that dude. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he can still put him in a, in the category with the baby. But yeah, I like I like Lil Malik because I've heard I've heard of him through Be Easy. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. That's how I heard of him. But um. I hadn't even heard of the baby. I just had heard his music out here. That's how you know he's pushing his music. Like he on Swift level with it. Swift got a deal oh, yeah. with Epic. So it's just kind of, I don't know if the baby got a deal or not, but I know I've heard of him. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, and I seen a Black Youngster video with him. Like he's just kind of already an artist that looks like he's there. Like yeah. He's already on or whatnot. Okay. So much respect to both of y'all artists. Though. You're both doing your thing, keep going at it, you know? Okay. Now what you working on, man? I'm coming. See, right you now. You say you coming, man. What you what you got coming, man? Man, I'm gonna be real. What I got coming, I didn't. I'm I'm actually fortunate. I didn't linked up with some. Um, can't really speak on the deal. It's a PR and distribution with some little label down at 21. and all that was um going through before they actually reached out because they were independent too. Okay. And I'm I'm actually out there pay us a little money, and I'm supposed to be. They're gonna push everything I drop. Like we do all my network. Uh, all of my artwork, all of that stuff, all of that. I, I'm just gonna drop it and they're gonna make it look good and do a label. So I don't, it's all under, it's, it's, on, it's under the table right now. It's gonna go down. So y'all yeah. stay tuned. I just been dropping singles, man. I don't wanna ever put out any projects yet until like I get the DJ to host it and all of that. So this is before South by Southwest. Stay tuned. I'm finna, it's gonna be like a whole, it's gonna go from here to here. But no problems. 
D to the Z, no problems. That's the one that's global right now out. Google, Spotify, anything you got, uh, title, all that stuff, it's there. That's my main single. All right. But yeah. Okay. Now, where, where can people um, get in contact with you at? Um, if you want to get in contact with me, I'm, I'm on social media all the time. I'm reaching out, man. Um, D to the Z everywhere. It's just like A to the Z, but it's D E T O T H E Z all together. So I mean, you know, made it made made days a little funky. So okay. if y'all want to reach me, just type in D E to the Z. Ain't nobody else named D E to the Z. I can bet you that. It's and, okay. um, Marketing. It's gonna shit. pop up man, anywhere. Um, we doing this thing, man. It's um, it's a lot of hard work. I've been linking with my cousin Harvey J, just just learning the um marketing skills, cause he's a beast. Do the, the Hennessy and stuff. Yeah, yeah he's that's, a beast. That's what it is. Shouts out Harvey. He just did the um DJ Smalls interview too. Okay. We got a track called Loyal Out too. He don't be promoting it cause we cause I dropped it without his permission, but you know. Yeah. It's out there though if y'all wanna hear you know, two different sauces. Okay. But yeah. All right, man. You want to give me the shout outs? Yeah, man. Shouts out the game. Shouts out Bully Gang. Shouts out DBT. You know, Slim Two Eyes. Um, yeah. Shouts out uh, Quizzy Swift. You know, Quizzy's a beast on production. Um, who else is working? Shouts out to uh, what's his name? I know you know that producer from out here. I I, I can't think of his D Money. Name. D Money. Yeah. That's how D you know money. that boy. D Money working. That's my boy. Shouts out D Money. We gonna get some too. I just, I just wanna, I don't get my shit together first before I come at you. Cause I see how you working. That shit is legit. Yeah. Shouts out D Money though. That's my man. Okay. But that's it, man. Shouts out to everybody else that's working. Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Know what you working with. Don't put out no bullshit if you ain't really about that shit. Okay. You know All right. <laughs> It's D E to the Z. Get that right. D E T O T H E Z. And shout out Futures TV, man. The beast behind the camera, man. He's making everything pop right now for the North Carolina scene. I know about him. Your favorite rapper from here knows about him. <laughs> Facts.